And we're back with some more RimWorld. And this completely broken kill box is about to get a bit of a workout. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with this one, this is just a, an open door. And this open door allows you to attack diagonally. So as they move through this door, we're able to... Oh, what are you doing? Be more careful there, buddy. You're gonna you're gonna damage the wall. Slim, actually. Get over here and uh, tear that wall. Oh, there also seems to be this weird bug. Sometimes they'll get to this point and they'll stop and try to shoot at the person up there, but then they can't. So they just sort of hang around there and then Casey just... <gasps> Oh no, how did the puppies get there? Uh, okay, work pups, I need you to, uh, I'm going to have to find a new zone for you. You're supposed to be over here with the other two. All right, run away, run away, just run. Come on. <sighs> Damn it, where are you, where are you going? Stop, yep. don't flee, you need to, why would you, f God damn it, Randy. <sighs> I sent them all the way back over there. They shouldn't have done that. That was not how that was supposed to go down. Uh, Alright. Never mind. So long as they keep coming through here, they're gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do some testing on this because this seems even more broken than it's supposed to be. Hmm. Never mind. Let's just fast forward time a bit. After getting rid of those raiders, we captured a few. In fact, I think, where is it? We've also got one I zapped. The main reason I zapped them is, well, I want to kind of recruit them. Which one was it? Not the psychopath. Uh, white? Yeah, chemical interest, optimist, ascetic. I want an ascetic so that we can level them up with the Empire and get ourselves a bit of a caster with them. Well, have to, I mean, I know we put a few points into Slim already, but I figure we can work on them now. We just need at least one good caster. Long term, a good caster with some teleport and invisibility can make a huge difference. And also the ability to drop down one of those uh, orbital strikes, very handy. For now, it's tidy up, uh, remove the scraps. We even got a few flak fests we got to issue out. Petromassimo is great. They have bloodlust, so we've stuck them on a actual tainted flak fest. Good. They don't care that it's tainted because, well, they've got bloodlust. Hey, are those crops done? Ready to harvest. Guys, someone want to get on that? Oh, Damn it, I completely forgot to renovate the religion. And we already got a conversion. Ah. One second, get rid of all that stuff. There's also another marriage on. Someone's getting married to someone else. Yeah, so Casey now has two fiancés. Uh, Petro Massimo also has two fiancés. I don't know, I'm not trying to figure it out right now. It's just too much effort. <laughs> so long as they're all in the right room and no one's complaining, we should be good. All right, now, where were we? Yes, religion. Reformation. Um... I was going to go in here and I was going to actually add in another another meme. Like, I was just thinking pain is virtue, but considering how everyone's in one room, we don't really have to worry about temperature too much anymore. And I do like that they get comfort, so maybe they're not a bunch of, you know, masochists. So I thought we'd just add in some styles instead. We can chuck in three of them. So I was thinking, let's go with Totemic. Always nice. Spike Core is always a nice one. And then, ooh, Rustic, Animist, or Techist? You know what? Techist. Totemic? Hmm. All right, a little bit of changing around. We've got Totemic, Spike Core, and we've got Animalist. So maybe, actually, you know what? Change that to Techist. We're, we're using tech to survive, so it seems kind of appropriate. At the same time, Wargs are the only reason we're still there. And Totemic? Hmm. You know what? Make that Spike Core. So Spike Core, Techist, and Animalist. There we go. And that cost us all of our points. It's fine. We, we weren't using them anyway. Ground penetrating radar acquired. Now that, that is good. That means we now have options for getting steel that isn't just scrapping everything we find. But what do we want on top of that? Hmm. Let me think. You know what? Precision rifling. I'd like a good, the option to make a, sol, uh, a good sniper and an assault gun or the, uh, you know, the assault rifle. Hmm. You know what? Yes, precision rifling it is. We're going to need it at some point, one way or the other. Uh, for now, what I'm doing is I'm using the caravan trick to get as much of those weapons over there as possible. They need to burn. Our wealth is out of control. That right there was when the pirates attacked us down here in the bottom left-hand corner. The second spike was when the tribals showed up and attacked us. We need to start burning all of their junk, like, just as soon as possible. This is just nasty. Uh, the problem is moving it all there quick enough. Come on, people. If another attack comes, it's going to be even nastier than the last one.
couple of quick things we're going to do here. First is we're going to begin a conversion ritual of... Yeah, Pat and Bert. I think that's probably our best bet. Expected quality, 62%. We could get one or two points out of this. I'm more than happy to give it a go. Uh, yeah, we'll take everyone along. Let's begin. And then after this, we'll have a, a quick execution just to make sure everyone's mood is nice and good. Now remember, Pat and Bert, this isn't about you. Wow, this is taking a while. Uh, oh, I turned off the speech bubbles. Damn it. There we go. We'll turn them back on again. Talked about mankind's history, explained the meaning of life, 42 of course, spoke about the purpose of life, yeah, explained the rightness of belonging, yes, 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 yes whatever, <laughs> explained false other beliefs, and masterful, was that right? Okay, that's absolutely, what are you doing, Randy? Stop being nice, I don't trust you. Anyway, Leia here just is, well... We released them for a bit, they punched a warg, and now we're going to have a quick execution, and that should give everyone a nice bit of a mood boost. Uh, yes, begin public execution. No, whoop, 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 whoop. Where are you? Where? There you go. Leia, excellent. Uh, that should give, ooh. Chances of an awkward one are only 19%. Yeah, I can, I'm willing to risk that. More than willing. All right, everyone. Get it together. Okay, that was that was pretty quick. Satisfying public execution, perfect. Then, uh, how's everyone looking right about now? Oh, you, no, <laughs> Petro Massimo is just so happy. Every time they kill someone, they get a, a massive mood boost, and they've killed a lot of people recently. Anyway, everyone seems to be doing really well. Uh, satisfying execution, fateful style surroundings, guilty prisoner executed, uniform thoughts, all good. All good indeed. Now, we're going to do a quick Bernie burn of all of this nasty stuff over here. Uh, that should help. Ooh, enslaved. Uh, right, squint. First, you strip them. Then, you have them punch Hope. And that gets everyone nice and angry. Uh, what are you doing? You're attending a wedding? Okay, there's a wedding right now. Okay, you can attend the wedding in one second. First, we're going to have them do their little punch. That's perfect. And then we are going to have Casey arrest them. 100% chance. Excellent. Once they're arrested, we can do a quick execution. Where's this wedding going on? Uh, oh, wait. I may have cancelled the wedding by getting Casey to do stuff. Was Casey part of the wet? No, maybe I should have left that. A wedding would have been very nice. All right. Once they're arrested, we then get in whoever we're trying to increase the social of. We're going to get Gus in to do this because Gus does not have as many friends as everyone else. So, so long as Gus performs the execution. There we go. A bunch more people will like them an awful lot more. And then we just cart off the, the body to the fridge. So what we do is we convert them, which gives us a point in re in reformation. Uh, we then strip them, which keeps us the clothes. Oh, and occasionally I do rip out the organs, but honestly, at this point, I don't really have space and our wealth is already too high. So this gives you the organs, the point, and then you get them to punch a warg, and then you execute them, which increases Gus's uh, relations with everyone, and also they get a plus 10 mood bonus. Also, everyone else gets... where is it? Guilty prisoner executed. Everyone else gets a plus 3 for a, a person that was executed. Oh, and this rivals thing? Yeah, it turns out if you... Mm, you know what? More on that later. Uh, I actually read a wonderful post on that. One thing we need to do before we put down this scat... Royal Tribute Collector. Do we have... Actually, we do have two prisoners left. That's not perfect timing, but it's good timing. Better than we could have hoped. Uh, you can go right about there. We're also going to need a power wire to help out a little bit, but that shouldn't be a problem. There, that gives us one extra wind turbine. and I need one extra battery, and I'll actually be reasonably happy. Uh, you, you probably won't stick around long because it's too cold around here. Uh, did we just... I think both of those are already had their faith changed, so we've already got our points out of them. Yeah, so white's the only one we're interested in keeping. We sell the other two? Oh, wait. White's the one we want to give the points to. Hmm. Never mind. We'll send Slim out. Slim can at least grab a few points. Getting the first level will be not the worst thing in the world, though I don't think we're really going to use it, to be honest. Now, if we sell you both of those prisoners... Wait. Can't sell you both those prisoners. 
You'll buy white, who don't want to sell you. They're the actual ascetic. You will buy Panembert? Oh, because they've been enslaved already. Hmm. Let me check this out for one more second. Oh, I get it. Nelson can't walk. The person has to be able to walk or you can't sell them. Uh, let's have a quick operation here. I'm thinking we can give you a leg. Anyone? Peg leg? Yeah, there you go. In fact, we're going to give you two peg legs. We are very generous around here. So we are still going to trade with them and sell them Panembert because, well, why not? We don't need the mood and it does give... That gave us three points with the Empire. So you sell three prisoners, it gets you nine. What we want to get up to is, say, one, two... Yeah, I think it's a Praetor? It's whatever the knight version is. Once you're level four, you can gain access to some of the nicer abilities. Hmm. 21 points. Very, very doable. We just need them to show up at a, a good time after we've got lots of prisoners. To have a hope of this operation succeeding, what we've done is put a heater beside them. That way they can actually, our surgeon can see, this is this good steel bed, so 105% surgery success chance. And Petro Massimo is, ah, oh, they have an inspired surgery. It doesn't make a difference. They are an absolutely excellent surgeon. They're at 94% chance. Combined with the bed, it, it's pretty much perfect chances. Now, uh, consume a fine meal, and then I want you to come back and do the second one. Ooh, Jade Meteorite. Which reminds me, I, damn it, I, I still need to go up and mine this one. I want to turn it into helmets. But that can wait, that can wait. Let's see if we can't get Nelson's legs and then sell them before this crowd leave because it's too cold. Well, the Empire decided to leave. Pansies. It's only like minus 15. It's not even that bad. Uh, so, well, Nelson, it, we're kind of stuck with them now. But it's grand. We'll just uh, enslave them, uh, get them to punch something and execute them. I mean, they almost got lucky. Almost. Hey, Nelson has joined us. The guy with the wooden legs. Uh, Casey threatened Nelson with blunt trauma if he tried to escape. Sounds reasonable. Uh, must obey orders and work. Accepted. Casey suggested that Nelson follow orders and not ask questions. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is strip. Then you're going to punch a warg and get arrested. Don't worry, all part of the plan. Then Blue can come along and gain themselves a whole bunch of social grace from it. Uh, let's see, how's everyone feeling towards them? Much better, plus 46 from everyone. I'm really hoping to get Blue involved in this sort of love square over here. That way we can just actually have five people in one bedroom. It just saves us so much time and effort. Now, uh, I'm thinking, okay, we got our fifth wind turbine up. I do want another battery though. Two batteries, it just can't quite cover us during downtimes. I figure we stick in another battery right about there. I want to try and keep them spread out a bit just because when these, uh, when you get a Zist event, it discharges all the power in all of your batteries in one location. And if you have all your batteries in that location, it can destroy the batteries. So spreading them out a bit seems like a good idea. Oh, yeah, I'm also stripping off these corpses so we can burn all the clothing. There's a lot of hauling going on here and there. Psychic drone high mail. That's uh, not going to help, is it? It's fine. It's fine. We have drugs. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's definitely going to hurt you. Your chemical's actually pretty good at the moment, but when was the last time we got you a beer? You know what? Go, go drink a beer when you're finished cloud watching. Uh, everyone else seems to be holding up. Oh, blue. Yeah, we're going to have to worry about blue as well. They've got that minus 16 from their lover died. Wait, no, 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 we've counteracted that. They'll probably be okay. Well, our next quest is actually a peace talks. I can't remember the last time I got one of these. Uh, we don't even like these guys. They're minus 100 goodwill, and the peace talks are way over here. But I'm still going to send Casey out. Casey here has a social double passion of nine, so this will definitely crank them up a level or two. Uh, as well as that, there are, there are melee specialists. So we've given them a shield belt. Uh, where is it? Yeah, they've got a shield belt on. They've got a thrombo horn. They can go do some... Why are you wearing flak pants? Why for... I'm not going to ban them from wearing flak pants in the future. Uh, fine, but that's just going to slow down your movement. One other thing I've been meaning to get done for a while is slim. They've had this annoying minus four from body mother frustrated for a long time. Well, the beginning of the game. And we did manage to pick ourselves up a coagulator out of one of those pirate prisoners we captured earlier. That coagulator does count as body modification. Uh, is that place dirty? Yes. Clean this room. We don't want any dirt in here. Otherwise, it's going to mess with our surgery success chance. Um, this is a, a surgery success multiplier. So one second, we'll get the room cleaned. That takes the surgery success from 103 to 105. And to figure out if you're going to succeed, or what your odds are, take the 
surgery success chance of your doctor and multiply it by the surgery success chance of the bed where it's located. So the bed has got a 105 because of light, cleanliness, all that stuff. So it's 98% or 94% multiplied by 105. As long as you're hitting 98%, that's as good as it gets. You still got a 2% chance of failure. There's no way around that, unfortunately. Uh, excellent. Sedated coagulator installed. Needs. You used to have a minus four. You've now got plus four. Body modder, please. That's an eight point swing. That is just mm, beautiful. Uh, that makes sure that she won't ever have any breaks anytime in the near future. Combined with that, all the other stuff we've got going on. Perfect. In fact, we might get someone else and make them the leader. Actually, that will be Casey. When Casey comes back, we might actually promote them to be the leader of the tribe. It just, they've got really good social and they're also a fighter. Might work. But the, okay, they're having a marriage ceremony now. They waited until Casey left and you're going to have it out here. I mean... Okay, kind of seems appropriate, to be honest. Uh, wait, let, let's get the animals in here. It's not the same without them. Uh, yeah, they, they can go have a bit of a wander outside if they want and join in. So, they are now beginning their marriage ceremony. <laughs> uh, and, and slim pukes. Well, in all fairness, they were just operated upon recently. <laughs> okay, so it's Petrumassimo and Ghost. And Grey Ghost. Fine. Well, uh... They waited until Casey was gone. Bit of, bit of a move that I'm... Uh, yeah, not going to comment on that. Not going to comment on that. I think there'll be uh, some problems. Considering you're going to be sharing a room with Casey, that seems a little bit rude. Could have waited until they came back. Hey, done. That'll keep everyone nice and happy. On the bright side, uh, the psychic drone is gone, so I think everyone is much, much happier. Oh, yes, we changed the mod for the faces. So it is improved faces now, but it's more in line with RimWorld. The, the mods are all listed in the description if you're interested in them. Perfect. That'll keep everyone super happy for ages. Yeah, everyone's got a, a 20 mood boost. That is... Oh, wait, Gus, why don't you have it? How did you... You know what? Never mind. Exotic Goods Trader has shown up. This is... Good-ish? I don't think they they have access to... Uh, they, I don't think they buy our hats, though, do they? Well, we were able to sell all that plasteel we got from killing mechanoids. A little bit of yayo, some tea, and we've got ourselves a whole bunch of components, some psychic shock lances, and glitter world medicine. I really want that glitter world medicine in case we'd hit by a plague again or something like that. That one hurt a lot. Uh, drag all of those inside, I think. Oh yeah, who does not have some sort of special thing on them? Psychic shock lance. You do not. Gus, psychic insanity lance, insanity lance, low shield pack. Smoke pop. Huh, I'm actually using this. Uh, you know what? You can go force a quick whip that psychic shock lance right now. Just to make sure everyone's got a little bit of utility to them. For our next quest, we have something we're not going to take. Uh, protect the Countess. Basically, Countess will come and stay with us for 13 days. Paralytic Abrasia must be kept in a bed. We need to give them a nice Countess-style bedroom. And then we get attacked by two raids of roughly this, which is like a lot of people. I mean, I wouldn't touch this without a Doomsday. Like, you'd need a couple of Doomsdays to make sure you can handle that. That is just way too many. I mean, even if they did, well, if they came through here, if we could guarantee they came through this uh, OP kill box, that'd be fine. But we can't guarantee that. All right, with all that started anyway, there is one thing I've been meaning to do for a while. I think we've now got our power grid and our battery grid sorted enough. And actually, I'd prefer if our batteries were a little bit fuller. But you know what? I think I will wait until the wind picks up a bit. God damn it, Randy. Oh, look, it's some incredibly common thrombos. They just keep wandering through here. It must be a migration grounds or something. Uh, yes, they will leave after a few days. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that is good news. Wonderful news. We've already still... How many thrombo horns have we got at this point? Uh, I really have to look that up. We've got four there, six. We've got six thrombo horns, assuming we, we slice up those bodies. <sighs> you know, I don't even want them. They're just going to add to our wealth. Check out our wealth. We've managed to scrap a bunch of our wealth by burning all of the gear belonging to this crowd, but it's still not enough. Our, our wealth is still way too high. Uh, hmm. No, I have to kill them, don't I? We've no choice. All right, let's get this started. This should be... Much simpler than before. 3.96 movement speed. That's still far too fast, guys. Three? Guys? Okay. We'll admit. Got a little bit concerned there for a second. All right, then. Whew. Uh, let's go grab the second one while we're here. Well, yeah. Now we have more thrombo horns. 
I wish there was some way, like people were talking about it, instead of having a revered animal, you could have like a hated animal or a hunted animal or something. I have no idea. But we, we needed some way to just really hammer into how our religion is so built around thrombos and how they've saved our bacon so many times with just the meat and the horns. We can now build precision rifling. Exit. That's assault rifles and sniper rifles. Then after that, multi-barreled weapons, maybe? Hmm. Actually, I do like the idea of a hospital bed. Let's go with sterile material first. Then grab ourselves some hospital beds. Just a couple of hospital beds would be nice. Uh, Power-wise, you know what? I, I can't wait any longer. Miscellaneous-wise, we are going to want a ground-penetrating scanner. Uh, we picked up one advanced component from a trader a long time ago. I think it was the last episode. And that will allow us to run the ground-penetrating scanner. This does not interfere with wind turbines, which is good for us. Uh, that means we can place this there. Everyone can go out and use it, though we still have to worry about drop pods in here. We could cover the whole thing in caravan spots or sleeping spots to stop drop pods, but I think that's a bit of a, a cop-out. When I was putting down solar panels to do that, I was fine with it, but, uh, uh, I feel like we still have to deal with some dangers. Otherwise, like, I mean, this sort of negates all walk-in raids. Oh, we are still keeping these, uh, bonsai trees going, so that's another two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, whatever. We're, we're, we're getting wood out of it slowly but surely. We need about 150 to do what I want to do, and right now we're at 96. Slow and steady wins the race. Peace talks success. Relations have improved by 60. Our negotiator gains 6,000 social experience. Well, that's good. Uh, right. How you doing, buddy? Let's check out your bio. You went from a 9 to a 10. About halfway to the ele uh, halfway to 11. Uh, perfect. Head back home. Now, i got to remember that they're on the way back. If we get some kind of mech cluster or something that sits on the edge of the map, we've got to be careful because if we're bringing them back in when that happens, they might accidentally walk into, well, a trap and get shot. All right, uh, white is being remarkably resilient. It We can only knock off about 0.7 off them every round, and that's really going to take a long time. They're going to definitely try and prison break before we manage to recruit them. Well, that looks bad. Uh, yes. Okay, so... Raiders intend to breach your walls, attacking immediately. Only coming from one direction, which is good. Randy random factor 1.19. Our wealth is out of control. We got 462 wealth and only 266 points in pawns. So, not quite double the points in wealth, but hmm, we either need to hire more people or scrap more wealth. The problem is, I just want someone to come along and buy these caps. We have so... Okay, stop getting distracted. We need to go out and kill them. We have to at least kill some of them in the field. Um, Casey's out. Oh. Yeah, I'd really like if Casey was here right now. Okay, everyone, form up. Uh, head that direction. Do we want to bring the wargs with us? Hope, no, I think we'll bring them over here. We're going to try and lure them into this section. At some point, they're going to breach into our base. Probably down here if the last raid was anything to go by. Uh, which means we'll probably end up holding the line here or here or both. Mm, but I would like to get a few softening blows off on them first. Uh, animals movement first. Well... Hope is on her way over to here. We're leaving Despair behind because, well, she's pregnant. Um, perfect. Right. All right, everyone. What? Let's make a new group. Actually, I could just do that. Yep, that would have been an awful lot simpler. All right, doors are going to be held open. Okay, we want to get out in front and at least mow down as many as we can from a distance. Uh, that should cause them to mill around a bit and we should be able to get off a few free shots. Let's slow this down. But we don't want to go too far away from our doors in case they start chasing us. Uh, come on. Right. Ooh, and I'd really like to get my hands on a cook if at all possible. Actually, that's a good point. How do you get any good at cooking? Wow, they don't have any really decent, like, cooks. A, a steadfast misogynist is probably the best one they've got, but I don't think a misogynist is going to really work with our sort of polyamorous crew. That, that might not be a good thing. Uh, ugh. You know what, we'll have a quick look and see. Uh, actually, they must... No, no, never mind. We'll, we'll just have to kill you all. Uh, everyone forward maybe a little bit more. Right there. Wait. Right there. And... Petro. Pop off that marksmanship command immediately. Start calling the shots. Okay. Come on. Good hit. All right, left arm. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, that's two down. 
Fall back, fall back. Okay, that's another hammer down. That's another hammer down. Okay. You're getting hammered to pieces out here. Nice. Okay. Who else wants some? Come on, you're going to spread out like this. I'm going to tear you apart. Not complaining. Anyone else get off a few more shots? Oh, exit. There's another one. You guys are dropping like flies. How many you left, huh? 33. And one of them's down, so it's 32. So we've already killed, like, six. So we've knocked out six already for absolutely zero return fire. Okay. At some point, though, they're going to decide to rush us again. Come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. I love the way we've got enough good shooters now. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, you're not getting at it. You're in range now, buddy. Another one bites the dust. Okay, here comes Hawk. Hawk seems to be their new one. Or probably one. Uh, no, another one bites the dust. Perfect. Oh, they're returning fire. Oh, that's a lot of them. Fall back. Run, run, run. Okay, that's a hit on Gus. Gus, keep moving, buddy. Fire and maneuver. This seems to be working. This never works in RimWorld. Normally, they just swarm you. Okay, another one bites the dust. Are you kidding me? We actually fought them in the open and won. We just had enough firepower to take them down faster than they could... Okay, how many of you got left alive but uh, unconscious? Maybe there's some who are worth keeping. You know, we, we could use a few mood boosts now and then. You know what? Okay, let's just charge forward a bit. Uh, see if we can't kill a few more before they make it off the map. Um... Yep, we can definitely kill a few more. And then we'll capture a few for the uh, the mood boosts. I think that went exceptionally well. Did anyone even get scratched? They fired a few shots at us, but the armor seemed to stop them all. Flakfest for the win. Dear lord. Oh, now I know why we're so vicious. We're fighting in the dark. I keep forgetting, we've got this uh, minimal light control mod. We're fighting in the dark. We have the darkness meme. It's giving everyone incredible accuracy. That's why we're just mowing them down so well. This? This I could get used to. Well, on the bright side, we managed to capture two of the prisoners and keep them alive. Um, actually, three of the prisoners and keep them alive. The fourth one didn't quite make it. Unfortunately, this one has developed a minor infection. And that minor infection appears to be getting a little bit out of control. But there's an easy way around that. Um, now that they're dealt with, that leaves those two. In fact, one of them is one of the cooks, I think, we were eyeballing earlier. Or was it this one? Yes. A careful shooting slowpoke. Ugh, I mean, if they had one and not the other, but both? Ugh, it's just... No, decreased aiming time? It, it reduces their damage. We can wait for a better cook at some point. It's just right now, Slim is the only cook we have. She's making me a little bit nervous. They're a really good cook. It's just they're also our main religious person who does most of the social conversion, so... The cooking is getting in the way of that. I'm actually kind of curious. Normally on a map, you get forced weather events to stop uh, fires burning out of control and destroying, well, the whole map by burning down all the forests and stuff. But on a sea ice map, does it, well, it's, is it going to start snowing now that I've started a bunch of fires? I mean, it's kind of pointless. There's, there's nothing to prevent. Well, there's nothing to stop being burned down. Except for my base, but I don't think Randy really cares about that. Oh, come on. How did you miss that one? It was right beside you. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we're just burning all of these corpses. I'm not even going to keep them for food. I'm sure I'll regret that at some point in the future, but for now, I'm more worried about the wealth. Uh, Bulk Goods Trader from Team Coalition has arrived. And that's... Oh, it's actually on the map. Hmm. Excellent. How do you guys feel about hats? We need to get out here just immediately. Uh, it's like minus 35 on the map, so I don't think they're going to stay around more than a couple of minutes. So let's see what we can offload onto them. Oh, please. T yes, we can get rid of all of that dumb clothing that we've got lying around the place. They don't have any wood or stone, but they do have steel. So 35 components, one advanced components, 320 steel and three beers. We are selling 3,590 silver worth of just junk and hats and oh, and some organs and things. Which reminds me, we should probably get some new organs. Done. That was a hell of a trade and it clears out an awful awful lot of junk. Dear lord, just so much of it. Now that is going to cause our wealth, or that should cause our wealth to plummet by quite a bit as well. 
uh, you. Bring that inside quickly and probably the advanced components as well and the regular components. The rest of it is pretty much weatherproofing. Nice! Whew. Uh, that reminds me, we can probably make a few more hats now. Uh, let's queue up about... You know what? Give me 15 more tail caps. Why not? Jared can get to work on them. Oh, would you look at that? They're immediately leaving. They've only been here like five minutes and they're like, nope, nope, too cold. Pansies. Oh, and now that we've got so much extra steel and components, it's time to finish out that little power grid down here. Is that...? Yeah, for a second there that looked like it was out of line. Never mind, never mind. Uh, so, six there. I think we'll put two more at the end and then we'll put in another eight across here. Yeah, but... Yeah, we're going to be going with about 16 wind turbines. It should give us reasonably stable power. Which reminds me, we should maybe plug this in. Uh, Petro Massimo can get to work. Nope, nope. No signs for you. You're going to start scanning, buddy. We want underground minerals and we want them now. Sterile material done. We'll go straight for hospital beds next. Then I'm also putting down a steel art bench. It's about time we started making some art. Well, we've got enough resources now. We should be able to put together at least one statue, maybe. A uh, small sculpture, make it out of jade. Yeah, how much is that going to cost? 50 ingredients, 10 times as much for smaller. So 50, actually, how much would a large one cost? A large one would cost 100. Yeah, we're, okay, so fine. We're making a small jade statue. It's going to be fine. Now, who's going to put it together? Lou is our best artist with six. Um, But they have a great memory and they're a quick sleeper. They'll... Like, when we get enough resources in, they'll be able to, like, churn out those sculptures quite handily. But right now, maybe not so good. Ah, conversion. Okay, so Rebel's been converted. Excellent. We will enslave you now. Excellent job. Uh, Llama is probably falling a bit behind. Yeah, we, we've kind of forgot about them for a wee bit. Also, we use Fat Man Slim's convertibility. We're basically converting everyone for the, uh, the free faith upgrades. After realizing I was being an idiot for a minute, I moved the steel art bench down there, namely because there's no light. And the less light there is, the longer it'll take him to carve the statue and the more experience they'll get. Later on, if they actually get good at it, we'll... Ooh, caravan arrived. Hey, Casey, welcome back. How is your mood doing? It cannot be good. Okay, your recreation is through the absolute floor. We're going to get you back inside and get you a beer. In fact, yeah, once you dump off your stuff, it's straight into a beer. I'm actually very happy with how this storage room up here turned out for the, the food. We're able to store more than enough, and it's even helped out for the wargs. Now, I'm not going to name the warg puppies until they actually hit teenagers. The last two ended badly, so I'm not going to like get attached and start naming them. No, no, we'll just we'll just wait. If they live, great. If they don't, well, then we won't have, you know, wasted our caring on them. Anyway, we I think I'm going to expand this out as well and use this as long-term storage. I want to clean out this area here so we have another bedroom available and maybe clean out some of the junk in here as well. I'd like more rooms or more options to have rooms. I think we need to hire more people, lots more people. I'm thinking about even hiring Llama. I don't want them because they're a careful shooter and a slowpoke, but well, we sort of just need more people desperately. And I don't think we can be so picky anymore. I'm almost tempted to hire this one. I mean, they're tough, they've got bloodlust, psychically dull, which, you know, that actually is usually pretty helpful as long as you're not making them a caster. So, dumb labor? Hmm. They can't do dumb labor. They could be a scanner person? Artist. They could be an artist. You know what? I think we will. We will stop enslaving them and we are going to recruit them. Yeah. And we'll probably recruit Llama or whatever as well. We'll take the lot of them. Uh, that means we're going to need to expand out this area. So, let's move all of this junk out over there and then let's expand this section to fill in the last of our hydroponics. Our art is complete. We've got a blue... I don't know what. Whatever. Okay, that's Blue's name. Actually, you know what? I haven't lamed Blue yet, have I? Please welcome Daryl Davies to the team. They shall be taking over from where Blue was, because I kept forgetting that Blue was on the team. Great memory, quick sleeper. Will be our uh, designated artist. Also pretty good at melee. Alright, uh... Is someone working... Petro, have you found anything with that scanner yet? You're supposed to be really good. 219% scanner speed, random find interval 1.4, progress to guaranteed find 43%. Okay, you're just about halfway there to a guaranteed find at least. All right then, uh, let's see what else we can do today. Well, great, solar flare. Uh, I can't complain too much. I mean, I'm going to, but this is only our second one, I think, in, what, about a year? How long have you been out here in the ice? 200 days. Okay. 
It's been a while then. We, we've been here a wee bit. Uh, yeah, I think we prioritize. Yeah, no, no, no. To get all of those as well. I'd like the cotton too. I think though that's everything. Yep. That's the lot. The rest of them are going to die out. There's nothing we can do about it. By the time the power comes back on, they'll all have died from lack of power to the hydroponics basins. Wait, wait, never mind. It's the cold that kills them first. What's the temperature down to in there? Minus 17. Yeah, once you go below minus 10, they all start to die off. Yeah, we have nice fresh hydroponics to plant. Uh, guys, you uh, maybe want to get to planting anytime soon? And we now have this new area back here. Let's uh, build a roof on that. This will be just long-term storage. This means we can convert all these rooms more over towards production, sleeping, that type of stuff. And we've left plenty of space here to put in the... Uh, oh, damn it. What do you call that thing that you stick onto the, the research lab? The multi-analyzer. So there's enough space there for the multi-analyzer, though I will need to get my hands on some gold for that. Ah, Daryl has finally made friends. Daryl and Petra Massimo have hooked up. That means... Petra Massimo is now married to Grey Ghost, is a fiancé to Casey and is a lover to Daryl and their previous lover well okay they're dead okay so that's good okay that means we can move Daryl into this room uh so yeah just put it actually why don't we just take the wall down hmm one two three four yeah five people we might as well give them this space why not in fact we're kind of hoping to have everyone in here I want Jarek or Slim to hook up with either Gus, Grey, Ghost, Casey, Petro, or Daryl, and then we can stick them just literally all in one room. I'm trying to hope for just like a, a love pile because it'll save us so much resources. Um, yeah, let's just start deconstructing these walls, I suppose. Nice. We now have a somewhat impressive bedroom for everyone, uh, which reminds me, I should throw in a heater in there. I would really like to get one installed. Uh, yeah, let's throw in one right about there. That just means that from now on, we don't have to worry about them getting the slept in the cold debuff. That's why I want Jerick and Slim in there. If I can get Jerick and Slim in there as well, this thing will just be one perfect room to keep everyone happy. And then everyone else we recruit would have to, like, sort of marry into the family, so to speak. And colonists are gathering to celebrate Gus and Casey's marriage. Okay, Gus? Okay, Gus has one fiancé and no lovers. Casey has two fiancés and no lovers. All right, so... Casey and Gus are getting married, but they'll technically be sort of... Gus will sort of be marrying into Petra Massimo as well, who is going to become married to Casey at some point in the future. Petra Massimo was the one that's just hooked up with Daryl, by the way. Yet, yeah, I'm going to need a, a spreadsheet or some sort of flowchart after a while. This is just getting way too complicated. Is everyone up and attending except the prisoners? Yes. we got the whole team here. Excellent. Uh, oh, I turned off speech bubbles again, did I? No, I did not. The speech bubbles are here. What's going on? He chatted about grenades. Well, that seems like a good thing to chat about. Slim's pretty good with those. All right, then. That's uh, another successful marriage behind us. Uh, I think that will keep everyone's mood good. Well, I think Gus is going to be happy for a while. That's a plus 40 for 30 days. And Daryl's attended two weddings. <laughs> okay. There's got to be a downside to this, right? I know there's got to be a downside at some point in the future. Uh, Daryl, though, right now is now part of this room, so... Yeah, they've, they've no problems with actually sleeping in this room in a single bed. So you can... Yeah, I'm not seeing any problems with this whole mechanic. It, it seems perfect. I, people were warning me that I was going to have all sorts of issues with people being unhappy because they weren't able to sleep in the same bed, and nope, nope, so far everyone's just one big, happy, polyamorous family. I had completely blanked we had a whole thing of jade down here. Right, we need to mine that out, and we need to start turning that into statues. We can start improving this place quite substantially. Uh, we've already got a decent dining room slash bedroom, and we already have a somewhat impressive bedroom here. Throwing a statue in here would definitely help mood. Not that we need it right now, but just, you know, for future stuff. Uh, at the same time, yeah, we need to really need to jump on recruitment. I've got Slim prioritizing recruitment for... What the heck? Why are you working at the Grand Penetrating Scanner? Okay, we're going to get Petra Massimo back on top of that in a second because you need to be converting people as quickly as possible. And when you're not converting people, you need to be cooking. Oh, we've actually run out of vegetables. Oh, wow, we've actually caught up with all the veggies. In that case, put the meat back in the fridge before it goes off. Oh, that's good. That is good. An inspired recruitment from Grey Ghost. All right, I need to pick out which one we want right now. Which one would be the hardest to convert? 
Well, I was going to do something there, but two of them have decided to beat the absolute snot out of each other. You just lost a thumb and a ring finger, and you have not. Well, great. I think our plan was to convert Llama anyway, so... I don't think that's changed. I was going to hire White, but now that they've lost two fingers, their manipulation's just going to be absolute trash. Without a, without a bionic arm, they're just sort of pointless. Ah, uh, damn it. And then Lama went right back to sleep. Good job, Lama. You just... Mm, you're messing with my plans, Chief. You're messing with my plans. Uh, the moment Slim wakes up, though, we're going to run a, a convert on Lama. Uh, then, once they're converted, we're probably just going to recruit them. Oh, while well, trying to get all that sorted, it turns out Petro Massimo and Slim don't like each other. What the hell? Um... Who can we get away with arresting? Well, attended two weddings plus 35 for 8.2 days. Petro Massimo got married recently. I think the got married is probably gonna keep them happy for a while. So, where is everybody? Uh, guys? Where are you? Uh, ghost, can you... Yes, you can arrest them. Now I just need to stick them in a prison cell for just a split second to break them up. Give me some furniture. Give me a sleeping spot. Make that for prisoners. Now, please... Don't let anyone lose any thumbs or fingers or anything like that. That would be really awkward. I don't want that to happen. Okay, right, go. Grab them. That's one hit. Two hit. Actually, two hits already. Three hits. Four hits. Five hits. What? Oh, I think I caught them just after they stopped fighting. That was awkward. Uh, release them. Yeah, do, 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 do. yeah, that's fine. Okay then, grab yourself a gun. Uh, it would appear you are no longer a shooting specialist, which is annoying. That's also going to hurt your mood as well. Lost gunslinger roll, minus 15 for 10 days. Okay, well that's what you get for picking a roll with Slim. Slim, how you doing? A few bruises, yeah, that finger was missing already, a few cracks and bruises. Okay, fine, let's get you tended. A quick ceremony to convert Petro Massimo back into a gunslinger. Uh, ooh, now I was going to make Casey into a leader. That would remove the melee bonus from them, but I think it's a good idea. Leader needs to have good social, and they're pretty much our best social outside of Slim. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, they can be converted back to a shooter anyway. We'll find someone else to carry the melee ta tag if we need it. Grey Ghost is about to wake up in a minute and try to recruit Lama. They've got an inspired recruitment, so that should be an instant conversion. They're a little bit hurt right now, and probably not too happy, but we can we can cheer them up. Now, before he went in there, though, I did do a bit of grinding and got Slim, Petro, and Gus and ground up all of their social with them by basically talking to them a bunch and then drafting them and talking them to them some more just to make sure that they're all happy. They're all the females in the group, and Lama's the male. So what should happen is hopefully one of them will hook up with Lama, at which point they'll end up in this room with everyone else. Well, that's the hope. Uh, this is the conversion attempt, and come on, join the side, you know you want to. Excellent. One new polyamorous bigot for the group. Now, uh, while that was going on, we also got a few other things that happened. One, we got a successful rule change, yep, but we also found Plasteel. Underground Plasteel, over here. So now we have just loads of Plasteel. I love it. Uh, at the same time, we also got a second one steal shortly thereafter while I was busy grinding all that stuff up. And over here we've got just oodles and oodles of the stuff. I think we're going to run a wire over there. I mean, I say we run over the wire because I was thinking of just carting over a battery and dumping it down. But then I'm thinking, I'm going to get enough steel out of this that's definitely going to pay for the wire and then some. And it will take a long time to drain that all. Hmm. Yeah, so definitely run a wire. I mean, all we got to do is run it from over here anyway. Oh, well... This was the bit I was not looking forward to. Casey and Petra Ma uh, asked Petra Massimo for some space, and they are no longer in a relationship. Uh, that's what you get for starting fights, man. Okay, Casey, uh, let's see how your needs are. You're, you're fine. You got married to Gus recently. Petro, how are you doing? Got married to Grey Ghost recently. Okay, so you're probably going to be fine. Okay, for the five days after the wedding wears off, won't be great. Okay, okay. So still pretty much a positive so far we're going to go with. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm sure they'll hook up with someone again in like two or three minutes. It'll be grand. A little bit of a Zist event, but no major damage. Uh, the mechanics for Zist events, though, are they, um, 
it basically can only happen when your batteries are above 50%. I will actually turn off that for a minute, just so that the batteries recharge. And then what happens is all of the batteries discharge and it causes an explosion depending on the amount of wattage that was stored up in the batteries. So as far as I'm aware, you can't really have a assist event without batteries. Technically you sort of could, but the amount of power released would be minuscule. I, I don't think it's possible. And you need some sort of power conduit because it has to trigger on a power conduit. All right, uh, once you guys are finished this, I think you can start on that. I didn't want to actually install this until after they got the power wire in place, just in case someone showed up and decided to, you know, stomp all over us before we got it up. This is so much steel. What? What? No! Just... Not a chance. That lightning bolt thing was the best thing that ever happened. Allowing you to just queue up all of those. Oh, so much effort saved. It's the Actung mod, for those of you who are wondering. Anyway, inspired recruitment from Casey. Randy, have you been... you been reading my diary? Okay, that's, uh... Well, I'm not even sure I want white anymore, considering that, you know, their thumbs are gone. They're kind of useless. Mm, I think... I think rebel might be the better choice. Uh, they are male. Ooh, but white is a female. And what's, what's our gender balance at the moment? All right, so it turns out we've got a bit of a gender imbalance, so we've got more men than women. So we kind of got to stop this turning into a sausage fest or we can't keep up this single room attempt. I kind of want to just, for some bizarre reason, get them all into the same room. If we could have every single pawn sleeping in the same room, it would cut down so much on stress in dealing with these things. Normally you have to have massive areas. Oh, could you imagine a hundred pawn challenge, but you have to try and get all of them into some sort of weird love... I don't know what kind of shape it would be, but it would be like having to get them all so that they're all interconnected. And it's not actually them sleeping in a barracks, it's them sleeping... Like, this is not technically a barracks. Normally you get a negative for sleeping in a barracks. They're getting an impressive bedroom because this is a bedroom, an impressive, and only contains people who are all in relationships. If we tried to put in, say, Llama in there, oh, I actually have to rename it, this would become a barracks because we have beds in there belonging to people who are not part of the group. Well, I think that's how it works. Hmm. I should really test that. Okay, but later, later. For now, for now we're going to see about uh, recruiting white. Uh, Casey, first thing in the morning, I want you to go and recruit white. Well, before I got the recruitment off, I decided to try and grind up everyone's, you know, liking for white. And the thing is, white's female, so what I wanted to do is get all the males and grind up their social with them so that she's more likely to hook up with one of them and end up in our sort of uh, sweat lodge or whatever you want to call it. And the thing is, Jarek can't do social. Lama, the new guy, also can't do social, so those two males, I couldn't grind up any skills with them, which means they're all the way down the bottom here, and like Lama's like minus 40, I know that's not the real name, we'll, we'll name him in a bit, and Jarek's at minus 10. Nothing we could do about that, we were just stuck with that. But that left a few other guys, I think it's, we've got Grey Ghost, uh, we have Casey, and we have Daryl. So all we had to do was get Grey Ghost, yeah, Grey Ghost, Casey, and Daryl, and grind up their social. A Grey Ghost was easy. We ground them up, they've got a plus 50, and once the uh, White's out of prison, it'll be plus 75. But yeah, she's not gonna like the other two guys. Uh, the other two guys, one of them is Casey. Unfortunately, Casey killed their mother. Also killed their friend. So they're not very happy about that at all, which is why they're still at minus two mood. We'll, we'll get them up to plus 26 or 27, but I, I don't see Casey having much of a shot with White right now. That leaves Daryl. Daryl killed her father, so yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're joining a polyamorous group of bigots and two of the people in it have killed their mother and their father and their friend. Right, that's, um, I haven't even looked at what's going on between them and the females of the group and honestly, I don't even want to find out. If it's as complicated as what's going on with the males, I just don't want to know. Uh, right now though, Casey should be on their way to recruit them and we'll have our second recruit, at which point I should probably name Lama, who yet to be named, and White. Oh, what? Oh, and White decided to fall asleep mid-recruitment. Fine, fine. Well, we have made you a Thrumble Fur Parka so you can survive out here. Jarek is putting together a num another Thrumble Fur Parka, and I think we're going to send Casey off on a quick spree after this. We want him to wipe out that weather controller that's driving the temperature down by minus 10. I'd like to get rid of, rid of that before we get into the de depths of winter. Hey, White has joined the team. Now all we have to do is immediately rename White and... What, why did you go above Llama? Oh, we probably captured you before we captured Llama. Right, uh, renaming time. First up, welcome D. Delaire to the team. They shall be taking over for Llama. They are a careful shooting slowpoke that we didn't want to hire, but we were desperate for anyone to pick up a weapon. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. 
And next up, there is White, who is very unhappy for being in the team because, of, you know, we killed her parents. Please welcome Ralph to the team. You know, I kind of wish that, you know, some of the women had shot her parents, or at least one of the women had shot her parents. I think that would be, you know, sort of bearer or something. All right, uh, we're going to have to get you a bed. And for that, oh, yeah, maybe grab a coat first as well. How's your health and mood looking? Your mood's an awful lot better because you've got catharsis, which expires in 10 hours. You know what? Let's uh, let's get your bed sorted immediately. Oh, yeah, you're not assigned to construction. The only thing they're really going to be doing is animals, but then primarily cleaning and hauling. Looks like a combat supplier has come by. Excellent. Let's see how they feel about hats. You guys like hats? You guys do like hats. That's excellent news. I think we just nabbed their components and their medicine. We're going to need to get into mortars shortly, so I would like to grab the reinforced barrel, but the medicine's more important right now. Yeah, I think that's a fairly decent deal. Uh, bring all of that stuff back inside, please. All right, hospital beds are done. Not even sure what to go for after that. We've kind of knocked out most of the stuff we like. Uh, colored lights would always be fun, but no. Uh, let me think. Multi-analyzer. We might as well start getting into the higher end stuff. Getting the multi-analyzer will allow us to get into pulse charge munitions. A few charge rifles wouldn't go astray. Uh, also, weapon-wise, I should probably churn out a few. We've got two new recruits, and they are no... There are no slouches. Look at that. Nine in shooting? Eh, not so bad. And another nine in shooting with a double passion. Also, chemical interest. Hmm. Remind me to keep you out of the drug stash. Well, our sculptor has finally came through and given us a good sculptor. They gave us a... Actually, they're, they're, they've been coming on in loops and bounds. Poor. Normal was their second. And good was their third. Pretty sure that's fairly lucky. At art eight, you're unlikely to get good. It's like that was quite lucky on our part. However, the good one thrown in here turns this entire room into very impressive, which is going to make our dining experience that much better. And by throwing the normal one in there, we've made this place into also very impressive. So everyone staying in the sweat lodge will end up with like a plus four mood bonus from that one. Nice. I think the plan, though, is quite simple. We're going to keep mining away here. This is going to give us so much steel. With that, we can finally start expanding. We're going to need way more components, so we're going to need to knock out multi-analyzer and then fabrication tech. At that point, we can actually start producing our own components as well. And we're going to have people who are going to have free time and have plenty of time to grind up components. Eight wind turbines here, eight wind turbines there. If we can't get, if we can get a windy weather changer that'll turn the wind on full all the time, we, we might go the transhumanist route. Who knows? Otherwise, we will have to wait a while before our next uh, religious conversion. Oh, and the very next thing we got to do, we got to go wipe out that weather controller that's uh, adding minus 10. It's already minus 67. I don't fancy living at minus 80. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.